More dinosaurs! Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Dinosaur Channel. This is your home on the internet for all things dinosaur and prehistoric. And of course, become a member by joining our channel. You can unlock cool emojis and icons that you can use when interacting with our channel. Today, we're doing an episode all about the Jurassic World Dominion Allosaurus figure. Roaring Allosaurus. Very, very exciting. Brand new figure. I saw this thing in Walmart and couldn't stop myself from buying it even though I have so many. Well, I have two Allosaurus figures from them already. I don't need more, but we're going to be talking about this today. We're going to be unboxing this. Now, here's the deal. For people who are just being exposed to the Allosaurus for the first time, I'm assuming there's some people who are a little bit younger in the audience watching this. Somebody like me, a kid like me who grew up in the 90s, in the late 90s to early 2000s, I grew up with a show called Walking with Dinosaurs where they had a series about, or not a series, but it was like a movie about this dinosaur called The Ballad of Big Al. I'm sure if you're a dinosaur lover, no matter what your age is, you probably have seen it. But those of you who haven't, this animal hasn't really had a place in the Jurassic franchise up until Fallen Kingdom, which was really recent, only a couple of years ago. And now it seems like it's going to have a huge part in the series in Jurassic World Dominion, being that this guy got a brand new revamp, a full on full on model like it's beautiful and we're also going to be comparing this to the other Mattel figures that came out of the Allosaurus the other two I think there's actually there's a third one that I'm missing that came out right in the beginning of the Fallen Kingdom line but it just looks so bad that I never wanted it but we'll talk about the other two that are really good but for now let's unbox this baby girl so we've got a giant roaring Allosaurus that's it oh man that's got to be one of the easiest packaged ones ever amazing I love it all right here she goes, we'll pull out the little sound tab and let her rip. Let's sound let's see what this Allosaurus sounds like. Whoa, that's a black tongue. Oh my god. That's cool. Beautiful roars. Oh my god, the sound quality too is like frost. It's amazing. I also love this, I love this body style. Look at the, the way the legs are. It's so like sort of narrow and creepy. Um, and obviously we have that like dino biting action. This is not my favorite. I don't, I'm not a huge fan of these, but of course I know this is not made for 25 year old people. It's made for children. So I understand why it looks like this. So it's like a sort of tab that you pull down, I think. How do you, how do you work this? Oh, you press on it. And that's how it comes alive and exposes the rib cage where you can pull up and a little jelly belly. They had this on one of the Spinosaurus that I never got. It was a blue Spinosaurus from Walmart. I never ended up getting that one because I had the OG Legacy Collection one, which is the best Spinosaurus in my opinion. But here we go. That's the Allosaurus. Dude, this one has heft. It's the Allosaurus we have needed from Mattel this entire time. It's got a really nice tail. The scoots, the, the everything on it is... Oh... Yeah, baby, this is what I'm talking about. This even feels like, to me, like the battle at Big Rock Allosaurus, but seen to full fruition, you know? Because in Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom, we've got a baby Allosaurus in that movie, like a very much a young one. Um, but having an Allosaurus like this, my God, that's beautiful! Look at that Allosaurus figure, my, it's so hefty, and it's got like this, it's got a chunky belly a little bit, like it's got, it's full on, it's really, really nice. I really, really love this figure. So next up, I'll talk about the other two. These are the other two Mattel Allosaurus figures that I have. This is the OG, which I feel like will be one of the more valuable Allosaurus figures in the future, uh, especially in the collecting world. This is the Battle at Big Rock Allosaurus. It's blue and it's smaller and it's got a very strange jaw that I don't like at all. Like the bottom jaw is just ugly as hell. And this was funny because this one came out with the Nasuto Ceratops toy. It came out together before Battle at Big Rock came out. I think they came out in May of 2019 and the actual movie didn't come out to like June or July. So it came out months before, everybody was confused. But you can see that this was like their second iteration at the Allosaurus. The first one was abysmal. It was absolutely terrible. The first Allosaurus figure that came out for the Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom figures. But this one, you know, it doesn't have any sounds if I remember. Yeah, it's just got action features. So it's got this sort of spastic, uh, <laughs> funny hand motion. Blah, 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 blah. It's got the mouth figure not working that well. It's getting a little stuck. Um, the the colors are cool. I like I like this blue. I like the color scheme, but it looks a little bit like a little bit like a child's toy, which it is. I love that they have the painted nails on it. It's not something they always do, and I love that they have that on the big one as well. Um, but this is sort of the Battle at Big Rock. It's not sort of. It is the Battle at Big Rock Allosaurus that came out. Then we had this one recently, which I think has been out for a while. This is sort of the next iteration of the Allosaurus. I forgot the name of this one because I threw away the packaging. I got this on sale at Walmart on clearance for six bucks. And I definitely feel like it's worth a lot more than $6. And I wasn't planning on picking up another Allosaurus because... 
sorry. I knew there was one coming for Fallen King or for uh, Dominion, but I just, I saw it and I was like, for six bucks, look at that quality. Look at that figure. That is a beautiful Allosaurus figure. The jaw, the the mouth, the eyes, the crest, all of it is just next level. And it's small, which I like too. I like having some of these smaller figures. Also, the articulation and the feet and the tail, everything felt really solid when I saw it in store. And I love the action feature or the sound feature. It's a tab. That slowly opens the mouth and every time you move it, it projects another noise. I really, really like that. But standing side by side, you can just see this was like Allosaurus version three. And then we got the king, the Dominion Allosaurus, the, sorry, it is called the Roaring Allosaurus. That's what it's called. Just Roaring Allosaurus. It's like the level up from this. This is a good attempt. This is a great attempt. This is a, this is a good attempt. This is a great attempt. This is perfection. I don't know how they can perfect it better. Just look at the face. Look at the, look at the size of the face and look at the detail in there and the eyes, all the little grooves and bumps and scratches. And even here, on the belly, I love that they do this belly and show that they have like a little bit of girth to them, a little bit of fat. They got those lines on the belly, the little folds and the sounds. I do say though, I think the audio from the other one is a little more high quality. Yeah, I feel like the speaker on the other one is a little better. Let's compare the sounds real quick. I feel like I'm getting elements from both of them that come from Fallen Kingdom and Dominion and uh, Jurassic World Evolution and Battle of Big Rock. I feel like I've heard all of these sounds before. They do sound recognizable to the Allosaurus figures that I've, or the sounds that I've heard in the franchise, but this is the one, man. This is next level. This is the Allosaurus figure that we've needed. This is the Allosaurus that we've wanted. It's the Allosaurus we've deserved. So there you go. That's your little collection of Allosaurus figures for the Jurassic World line that we have right now. The good ones, I would say at least. Got one, two, and three. They are fantastic, but this new one is next level. This almost feels like a mix of the Baryonyx figure a little bit with the detail of the scoots. And of course, I can't forget the DNA tab that I always somehow open on the wrong side. I don't know how I keep opening it on the wrong side. There's your DNA tab. When it was just here on the bottom of the foot, it's less invasive, less intrusive to the figure. I, I don't like having something on the top of it, but I get it again. This is not a figure for an adult. It's a figure for a child. So for what it is, I love this thing. I'm so excited for it. And I'm really excited to see this thing in Dominion uh, in full scale. Allosaurus, you know, like it was the T-Rex of the Jurassic. It was an amazing predator. And it definitely doesn't get the light that it needs to get these days because T-Rex is king, T-Rex is queen. T-Rex is everything that we talk about. So having an Allosaurus figure like this is fantastic. And I'm very, very, very excited about it. And I want to see it fight a Carnotaurus, hopefully. I don't know if that happens, but I hope it does. All right, guys, that is my video on the Roaring Allosaurus compared with two other Allosaurus figures here for Jurassic World Dominion. We got so many more Dominion figures that we are covering. Literally, it's nonstop on this channel. So make sure you subscribe and turn those notifications so you don't miss a single episode. And make sure to leave us a dinosaur size thumbs up and comment down below a dinosaur figure or prehistoric creature you'd like to see us cover in the future. And of course, become a member by joining our channel. You can unlock cool emojis and icons that you can use when interacting with our channel. We'll see you guys on the next episode. Goodbye.